Hi, I'm Mark Camotio, and we've got a second-hand HW44 pistol to show you here. Now, if you've not seen one of these, I was lucky enough to, to visit the factory, the Weirach factory in Germany, uh, back in 2017, and that's when they first showed us, right at the end of the tour, they showed us a prototype of this pistol. It's an exciting design, largely based on the action of the HW110 rifle. It's got it introduced sort of synthetics and ballistic polymer which was a radical move for Viroc. Sort of replicates a lot of the breech system there and various other features. So if we, if we look at it in detail, starting at the front, you've got a um, you've got an option actually, um, the dedicated silence that goes on the front. You've got, I can see a manometer under there at the beginning of the cylinder. You've got the probe style of charging and Viroc provide a nice synthetic plug to keep out the dirt from the uh, inlet. You've got an accessory rail underneath, it's all part of the main chassis moulding, sort of Picatinny style weaver mounting. Same up top, so your scope mounting is on weaver Picatinny. And we've got a, a, a nice pistol scope here fitted up, and of course it's open sights as, as it's standard, but it's um, you, you've got the option of pistol scope and that can sort of transform it. There's a multi-shot system, it's using the 10 shot system from the 110, and we'll show you that in a moment. A really nice two-stage trigger. So because it's, it's a pneumatic system, that's a really light, precise trigger. A lovely synthetic moulding on the grip there. Moving it around, you can see you've got a, a safety catch. A slightly fiddly side to this is when you're putting the magazine in. We'll show that in a minute. So you've got a catch here that you've got to lift up, which brings back the mag retention pin. And then you've got the side lever. Side levers are really slick design, very effortless, which gives you your multi-shot system. So let's see that uh, magazine in operation. So this is utilising the, uh, as I say, the 10 shot mag that comes out of the HW110. It's a simple cast system, so it's a cast magazine and you just fill, just literally chamber those pellets all there, make sure they're all flush and then you're ready to go. Now with this pistol, it's an, it's an ambidextrous safety catch that's on there. First of all, pull back the, the side lever to cock the action and then you'll see inside there's a retaining lug for the mag. You've got to lift up this silver lever. This is the slightly fiddly part, it's a sort of two-hand job really. And then locate the mag from the left-hand side. If it's not locating when you bring the lever back, just jiggle it around slightly. Pull the lever forward and then you're ready to go. That's flagging red, so we should be able to fire. So we'll just see that in operation. Just pull back to cock as fast and it's as fast as you can go. Really slick. I mean, you know, Varak have perfected their systems over the years and obviously they brought out the 100 series first of all and then the, the, say the 110, but that side lever action is effortless and the trigger is ultra precision. So this is a second hand model currently available in a uh, range and country in Sleaford, but it's, it, they're well worth looking out for. Shot count of about 105 in 177, 120 odd, 125 in 22. It's a small cylinder, but obviously it's uh, less power. Should say, I mean, these were designed to be one of the most powerful air pistols, it, so it's pushing the six foot pound limit. The, the whole ergonomics of it, the design, classic Viroc, so it's a really nice second hand pistol that, say, is well worth looking out for. So that's the HW44.